Herman Cain. He says he will not withdraw from consideration for the Federal Reserve position. The man himself joins us now. Herman, welcome back to the program. You start out by telling us why you're not going to withdraw. First, I never said that I was even considering withdrawing. That was a conclusion that some of the reports came to because four senators expressed reservation. Well, their reservations do not cause me to run away. No. Three of the four, Stuart, have never met me. I haven't met them, and I doubt if they know anything about my background. So I don't run away from criticism. Well, questions will be raised about your past behavior with women, similar to what happened yes. when you ran for the presidency. Are you ready for that? Right. I'm ready for that, Stuart, because there is no there there with my past behavior with women. They were all accusations that were unfounded and not true. So they're going to raise it because the Democrats are going to want to try to embarrass me. But they're not going to embarrass me because I'm not going to allow them to turn my confirmation, if I get there, into a circus. I'm simply not going to allow Herman, it. was there a settlement with, one of, with a woman? If there were, I didn't know about it. The first one, that was a severance package. After I left the Restaurant Association, if they used the word settlement, I didn't even know about it. So I can't answer that question. Okay. It may have been, it may have been not. Okay, so you're geared up for the hearings, I take it, and you're ready, yeah? I'm geared up, I'm geared up for the hearings. Okay. And one of the reasons I'm geared up for the hearings, Stuart, is quite simply, this noise chamber causes a lot of people, including senators, to get wishy-washy. But it doesn't cause me to want to withdraw. I'm not withdrawing. That's not my nature. Got it. Now, I, I'm sure you're aware of this, but we've got a survey of chief financial officers uh, of big corporations, and two-thirds of them predict a recession by the summer of next year, right before the election. Is that why you would like to lower interest rates? Not necessarily. And I question that number of three-fourths by the middle of next summer. The reason, Stuart, is because some people have been promoting the idea of a recession for a long time. So I really can't comment on whether they're right or whether they're wrong. I have a lot of confidence in this economy. I have a lot of confidence that it is going to, the strength of it is going to continue into next year. So I really can't join that chorus in the chamber of saying we are going to have a recession. I don't think we are. Okay. The Democrats, as you know, uh, they're apoplectic about the bar, the bar press conference on the Mueller report this morning. Uh, right. I just want to show you this uh, tweet from New York Congressman Hakeem Jeffries. He's the chair of the House Democrat Caucus, by the way. Here it is. So-called Attorney General presiding over a dog and pony show. Here's a thought. Release the Mueller report tomorrow morning and keep your mouth shut. You have zero credibility. Now, you've taken your fair share of scorn from the Democrats. Your reaction to that tweet? The dog and pony show is being perpetuated by the Democrats, not William Barr. That's why he is absolutely wrong. They have gone from, the Democrats have gone from collusion, 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 uh, corroboration, obstruction, 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 and now they're talking about uh, trying to put another narrative out there about cover-up. This is what they do. But, Stuart, the markets, business people, and the American people are smarter than that. They are not swallowing this language and they are not swallowing this narrative that they want to put out there to keep the lie alive. That's what they're trying to do. I have to get back to this, Herman. When you were running for the presidency, there were reports yes. that you were involved in a settlement. This morning you've told us that you were not. Have, have you changed your story? No, I have not. Stuart, I left the Restaurant Association in 1999. Reports may have said the word settlement, but I know of the three that I know about that accused me, there was no settlement. It was a severance agreement. One of the individuals tried to get a large sum of money from the Restaurant Association, and I directed my attorney to fight it. We went from a very large sum of money that she wanted all the way down to her normal severance. She didn't make this accusation until after she found out that she was losing her job because of non-performance. Herman Cain, thank you very much for joining us, Herman. Glad to see you again. You're and welcome. We'll see you again soon. Thanks, Mr. Cain. Thanks, Stuart.